In a way, I don't know what's going on. The other participant didn't come at work. No, this is the not that's going to be on WhatsApp. I'm going to record it and we'll do it up. So please, on your copy books, listens, part, write, unit seven grammar, and write today's date, please. New page, unit seven grammar, and the date. Out of our Kachila. Let's say the unit seven, Grum. What I want you to do now, please, is I want you to attentively read the text. Try to read the text, please. I will give you time to read it. My students, uh, normally I should give you this printed score. So, but I'm going to the worksheets. But unit seven, please write, copy this text down. No way, please. Please uh, read the text. I will read it now for you. My name is Aman. I was born in 1991 in Asila. When I was nine, karate was my favorite free time activity. It was the best hobby for me, but not anymore. My beloved hobby became swimming. My parents were always worried that I might get hurt while doing karate. I wasn't good at swimming at first, but it wasn't that hard to become good at swimming. Or was it? Well, now I compete in the Olympics, so what about you? What I want you to do now, please, is try to answer the following questions. First one, where is the verb in the first sentence? Where is the verb in the first sentence? Yes, very good. The verb is, is. The verb is, is. This is the verb. Let me see if I can draw. This is the verb. It is verb to be in what tense? And the simple present. Now, where is the verb in the second sentence? Where is the verb in the second sentence? We have three verbs in the second sentence. Very good. It is verb. The verb is, was. The verb is, was. I was born in 1991 in Asela. This is the verb. It is verb to be in the simple past. It is verb to be in the simple past. Now try to answer those questions again, please. When was Amal born? When was a man born?
I will answer you here. She, yes, very good. She was born in 1991. She was born in 1991. Now the fourth question, where, where her parents were it? Where her parents were it? Very good. Yes, they were. Sorry. Yes, they were. Where her parents were it? Yes, they were. Very good. Now, as you as you can see here, we have verb to be in the simple past. We use the simple past to talk about events that happen that has that happened in the past. Okay? Or to describe something in the past. For example, here we have time indicators of the past in 1991. See? which means the author, ML, is going to talk about, the, about something that happened in the past. Therefore, she used the simple past and that to be in the simple past. Now, what I want you to do, please, is let me show you. Erase this and this. I want you please to go to to go back to the text and write the affirmative sentences you find in the text. I also want you please to write negative sentences that we have in this text. And of course, to also write interrogative or questions, interrogative sentences from the text always. I will go back to the text now. I will give you a minute to do so. Okay. I repeat, write the affirmative sentences the negative sentences and the interrogative sentences from the text. So, affirmative sentences we have. I was born in 1991 in Asena. We also have when I was nine, Karate was my favorite free time activity. I'm sorry, sometimes I get lost. When I was nine, karate was my favorite time activity. It was the best hobby for me, but not anymore. And also we have my parents were always worried. Now the negative sentences. 
I repeat, negative sentence is when we have not. The sentence is with verb to be in red. I wasn't good at swimming at first. We also have, but it wasn't that hard to become good at swimming. Now the questions, we only have one interrogative sentence or question, which is this one, or was it? Or was it? Very good. Now I want you please to pay attention to those sentences we have. I annotate affirmative sentences. Those are examples. I was happy, he was hungry, she was alert, it was big. We were early. We use was with singular, I, he, she, it. We use where with plural, we, you, they. Okay. I hope that you copied the, the sentences. What I want you to do now is try to give me the rules, the rules of how do we use verb to be in the simple past? Okay, let's start with the first one. Positive form or affirmative form. What is the rule we have here? Subject plus, yes, very good. Subject plus the verb to be which is was or were plus object or anything else. Now, how about the negative sentences? Very good again, subject plus verb to be was or were plus not, plus not, plus objects or prepositions or the pass of speech. Now, interrogative form or interrogative sentence, are we going to start with the subject? No, we're not. Okay, so we start with verb to be in the past was or were plus subject plus something else. And this one, if we have a negative question or a negative interrogative, we do verb to be plus not plus subject, for example, Weren't you home yesterday? Weren't you home yesterday? Let me write it for you here. This is an example. Weren't you home yesterday? This is a negative. Question, weren't you home yesterday? Let's get back here. And short answers, yes, I was, or no, I was not. Yes, plus subject, I was. Yes, you were. Yes, they were. Or we can say, no, I was not. No, you were not. No, they were not. Okay, now we will do a little exercise. This is if you want to have a look at more examples.
the positive or affirmative sentence or form subject plus verb to be plus object or prepositions or clauses examples he was ill she was happy it was cold you were late we were angry they were at home see positive affirmative And we have negative form, negative sentences, subject, as verb to be in the past, was or were, plus not, plus anything else, of course. Adjective, object. See, negative. He was not ill. Affirmative, he was ill. Negative, he was not ill. She was not happy. Short form is wasn't. Okay? And the plural, of course, the same one. Now the question form or negative form, we start with the verb, the verb to be in the past, plus subject, plus object. See, and we always end it with a question mark. Was he ill? Was she happy? Was it cold? Were you late? Were we hungry? Were they at home? Okay, and please pay attention to time indicators. Okay, like yesterday, last week, in 2005, in 1991. Now I want you please to try to do this exercise. Put Put the verb to be into the simple past. What is the simple past? Was, where, wasn't, where not. Okay, I will give you some time to do the exercise. Or you can pause the video, try to do the exercise before we start correcting. Okay, I hope you are ready. Let's start correcting. First one. The first one is I was in Canada last summer holiday. I was in Canada last summer holiday. Number two, my sister. My sister, very good. My sister was with me. Third one, we. We. It is plural, of course. We were in Montreal, Montreal or Montreal, whatever. It is a city in Canada or state. Very good. We were in Montreal. Number four, she, she, excellent. She was very happy. Number five, I. Very, very good. I was happy too. I was happy too. Number six, they. Very good. They were. They were in Paris last week. Number seven, pay attention. It is a question. It is an interrogative sentence. Hmm? Excellent. Were you home yesterday? We always start with the verb to be or the verb when we have a question. Very good. Were you home yesterday? Now number eight. No, I. Excellent. No, I wasn't or no, I was not. Very good. Now I will give you another exercise. This exercise is a little bit more challenging because I want you to write the, write the correct form of the verb to be. 
which means you are going to use either the sample present or the sample past. Again, please pause the video, try to do the exercise, and then we will correct. Pay attention to the time indicators. For example, last night, that day, last night, right now, last week, now, last holiday, last Friday, yesterday. Pay attention to those time indicators. Okay. Now we will correct. First one, we have last night, so it is in the past. So it will be, what is the answer? Excellent, it was hot last night. It was hot last night. Number two, look at her, she, look at her, she. No, it's not in the past, it is in the present. She is really tired. We have look at her right now, look at her. She is in front of us, so she is really tired in the present. Number three, it is a question. And it is in the past, good. So what is it? Hmm? Were we hungry that day? Very good. Were we hungry that day? Number four. Okay, very good. Last night, so in the past, I was asleep last night. Excellent. Number five, my friend. Yes, it's negative. And it is in the present word. My friend is not. My friend isn't or my friend is not at home right now. Excellent. Number six, Asma and Mayim. We have last week. Good. Excellent. Asma and Mayim were in Zagora last week. Number seven, it is a question again. Very good, it is in the present. So what do we use? Hmm? Yes, are you? And don't forget to use capital letter. Don't forget to use capital letter. Good. Are you with your parents now? Number eight, the last holiday. Hmm? Last holiday, past, good. The last holiday was short. Number nine, last Friday, Ali. Hmm? Last Friday, good. Ali was late for the meeting, excellent. And the last one, the kids we met yesterday. Yesterday, the kids, plural, it's like they, the kids we met yesterday, weren't or were not nice. Very good. The kids we met yesterday were not nice. Okay. That's it. I hope you understood well. Uh, concerning my students, I've been taking the pen for a Kahoot game to use. I will share it on the group, of course, and on the WhatsApp group. We have already shared it this morning and on the Facebook group. I hope you understood the lesson. Please don't hesitate to comment any questions you have. I love you and take care and stay safe.